this is the most twisted, twisted story. I dated her because she, she I was obsessed by this. So she blackmailed me. Now this bit is just tigras, you know, I've just lots of things I just gonna throw in here. It's like a dump. First one, art class with the Mr. Kisenyu. is to keep all our artwork. So what we used to try and do is they had the big windows. So we used to try and break in and try and steal our stuff. We had all these chalk artworks and then we used this spray to stick it on and still life. Speaking of art, as I've spoken about Ravinda already, he did a special artwork for my bro. And this artwork was this lady. I think she was doing a lipstick or something beautiful legs it's, it wasn't his like proper fine artwork it was more like to him it must have been just a sketch but I used that as a reference point for side pictures of like nose features eyes lips forehead maybe a bit of hairstyle I really studied that and I think I have my own version of it well, I still use it like whenever I used to draw I used to always remember this one and Ravinda There was once we walked around Oshawa complex chatting about life and I think he stayed back for lunch because I don't think he usually did And we talked about music and he told me he liked Janet Jackson Him and my brother loved Madonna anyway, but Janet Jackson I don't know if he said he liked the song if I loved if that was like music videos awesome hard uh, rhythm and blues another thing is when you see this graffiti in the previous video the the paperwork i stuck to my file i just realized first of all both of them had a lot of things like the anti-race stuff where i spelled anti-race r-a-s-e so spelling was issue lots of lyrics especially in the second one from the album by the Fugees, the score. And the score was such a big, I used to play that on loop. Vishal Vishnog also loved this. And I used to know nearly all the songs by heart. Manifest outro was the reason Lauren Hill became my topest female rapper of all. That, that bit she has in that song, ooh. In Lauren Hill's uh, Unplugged album, she drops way more lyrical miracles like this. But this part was just, it just blew me. It just blew me away. Anyway, so that, that happened. Then there was the Bat Boys. Now, Bat Boys was Nirav, Kartik, Smelly maybe. There were four guys who held one of the biggest parties for the school. It was like a leaving uh, party in Village Market. And that time, me and my cousin, Mira, we were really into this dance, the shuffle. Two-step, there's a lot of names for this uh, thing. And it was with Candy Rain. My love, do you ever... Hitesh used to sing this as, My love, to do, do you ever dream of... To do. <laughs> okay, okay, don't look at me. Um, in high school, I also started growing my pinky fingernail like my dad because he used to use it to pry things open and later I found out the adults used to grow that nail for two reasons one just doesn't seem like like it's it's to scratch someone in a certain place and whatever I don't know I don't know about that one but the second one is more plausible for recreational activities and I swear to God if if my dad even entertained that kind of behavior that would explain a lot of his behavior. Like, things just fall in place. Remember I was saying that complex times, I used to sky chill with Mahendra and all that. And I had started dating rocket ship. And just then, this is the most twisted, twisted story. Like, like, like intertwined lives kind of story, you know, like those movies. So on our first date, when my dad picked us up and took us, he dropped us to David, my first kiss, all that, all that, okay, on the steps. But we went and one of Rocket Ship's friends came because what this friends told her parents was that, yeah, we're going on double date, da, da, da. but the guy who picked her up 
So she lied. She went with this guy, Abbas. The guy who picked her up was pretty old. He was maybe 30. And we were 15, 16. I'm just ballparking age here. But he ends up in a relationship with this girl. Not this girl, but another girl in complex while I was skiving who, who used to send one of her friends and tell me that yeah she wants to do things to you and this and I'm like yo I, I'm, I'm not someone who just dives into things with people so it's strange it's strange how do I even explain it because years later years 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 later I dated her man how do I explain this I dated her because I was really into someone who looked exactly just like her. I couldn't be with this person because she became a good friend, blah, blah, blah. And then we started dating and she took back the car from this 30 year old guy. Now he was much older, yellow Celica or something, nice yellow trim. And then I found out, so she blackmailed me. It's, it's like, I'll have to do a separate story on this, but she blackmailed me and then she ended up in a relationship with another guy, a mechanic, Kamal, who was in a relationship with now my now bestie, Ria. Like, ah, it's just around this time, uh, the fashions were, I was copying a lot of East 17. That the, the coolest guy in East 17 reminded me of Tejesh. Uh, tucked in shoes. Another tucked in shoes one was Bobby Brown. I gotta get away, yeah. I gotta get away, yeah. So in that one he used to wear, he wore something like Vunjas, these army boots and tucked his combats in there. But in East 17, I copied those because I had Vunjas and I had these brown leather ones, which I used to tuck in my teal baggy jeans with patches. Oh my gosh, the things I used to wear. Uh, I, I don't think I even have a picture of those. <laughs> now my favorite words during Gujarati class were Gormator and Range Change. I still love saying those two words, Range Change. And gore mature because I like I like things gore and mature. <laughs> Another memory was in uh, primary school. We went to the cultural center to do this um, song. Wana inchi madara kanietu kwa hivi tevazarendo ku inkuze inchietu Kenya inchi yaupendo something along those lines. And Nemu made a mistake, and with Nemu's. Uh, typical happy you know he shrugged but me and him we were at the back so it wasn't a big uh, issue which also reminds me of another song called Kanyanga 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 Zote tu kota yari so stomp stomp everyone is ready to stomp so during these times we used to do something called President's Award Scheme PA there was pre-bronze, bronze, pre-silver, bronze, pre silver, pre-gold, pre gold. And then other people who went uh, past all that and went advanced, they used to do something called OB, outward bound. And I was told they get only three matchstick. But we had this physicals, which I love doing. Duck walk, wall, wall sits, uh, leg throws. Wow, the leg throws were beautiful for abs. That, that pain you got. I always loved DOMS, uh, delayed onset muscle soreness. So that was the time the first time I donated blood. Now whoever put that needle in my vein, it hurt me so badly because it was scraping against the bone or something. It was just so, like I would keep squeezing this, this whatever they gave us to squeeze to push the blood out faster. Three or four people were doing like three rounds of people had already passed. I was still there and my packet was just half really dark blood. I didn't donate for a while, but then later on, I think my Mansuk uncle or someone needed blood and that's when I was like okay let's do it again I was like this time it just came out like like a fountain okay, we did the first aid course I don't think I passed and our first aid guy was Bavesh and we used to call him Robocop because he was always straight stern and I don't know if he knew this he was we were scared of him because we thought he was strict then we had science congress so science congress was where people would try all these science activities and show their experiments and this and that in our house we used to follow this thing with pyramids so we need a pyramid which is, has minimal metal 
place the water at a certain level or razor blades, batteries, all sorts, and it just revives them or keeps them good. And my bro did this uh, exper experiment with growing plants. So the plants which were grown in our wooden pyramid grew much higher. They were just not as green. They were more yellow because they were in the dark, but they grew so much better. You put a pendulum on top of the pyramid and it doesn't stay still, it just keeps going around. There was a girl called Karomuro. Now all the dark skinned people, they were Karokado, Karomuro, Karipapuri. But Karomuro, I don't even know her name now, but me and her, we, we used to be cool with each other. But once these words slipped out of my mouth because I wouldn't call her that. But for some reason, trying to be cool during a parent's day, I had nothing better to do. I ended up calling her that and she just threw this coke on my face. I felt so bad, man. I really didn't mean any harm by it, but there was a Yasser Slatch. Now, the story I heard was Slatch either s slashed someone or stabbed someone or something because some guy was joking with him that Bara Bajia, and that was a, that's an offensive joke to uh, Sikh people. And he had a BP or shell. I think it was BP. It's a green, green fuel station where I used to have to take my car all the time for punctures which will be in a future time capsule with my unfortunate events with this bloody certain car. My bro had a lot of funny stories with Mr. Medel, Milan. I remember Nayan's dad went off on one of our boy's uh, elder brother because he was picking on Nayan's and one of elder brothers or something. <sighs> that was juicy. Now who remembers uh, dip, 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 in pin, safety pin, in pin, out. Who remembers Inky Pinky Ponky? Father had a donkey. Donkey died, father cried, Inky Pinky Ponky. And the racist one. <laughs> uh, Chinese men are very funny. Do you know how they count their money? Uncha, puncha, karela, kuncha. Something, something like that. <laughs> now, if we say it, like even Baba Black Sheep, I think it's turned into Baba something, something sheep. Can't say black. We used to say things like Fatty Bambula. The last one uh, to reach that pole is a Munga Totiani. Whoa! <laughs> uh, Mithal Mental used to say something like Tareri, Tareli Rotli Chiman Baini Chotli. Let's close this off. Remember that uh, plant I was telling you in boarding, which had the pods? It's called Canna Lily because my neighbor, one of my neighbors has a black version which means it's a purple plant with orange flowers. It looks so beautiful. The one in Boardings was uh, green with the white seeds but I'll throw in a picture there for you to, for your enjoyment. Over and out folks. Yo, <clears throat> let me try, let me try. You see, I loved hard one, but the love I gave wasn't returned. I found out the man I'd die for wasn't even concerned. In time it turned, he tried to burn me like a perm. Though my eyes saw deception, my heart would let me learn from um, some dumb woman was I. And every time he'd lie, he would cry and inside I'd die. My heart must have died a thousand deaths Compared myself to Tony Braxton, thought I'd never catch my breath. Nothing left. He stole the heart beating from my chest. I tried to call the cops. The type of teeth that came to rest, pain suppressed, Leave, leads to cardiac arrest. Diamonds deserve diamonds, he convinced me I was worth less. What a beautiful pun on that, I was worth less. My friends tried to impress, but my shit was complex. More than just the sex, I tried to spend nights cl clutching my breasts. I was God's best. Ah. Going through God's test, I was God's best. Contemplating death with a Gillette, but no man is worth the paradise manifest. Ooh. <laughs>